round matches in this best uh, rest of the world qualifiers. Travis Banks, the Kiwi buzzsaw from New Zealand, going to take on Jörn Simmons from Holland. Prestige versus the Young Lion. It's New Zealand versus Holland. Will the Prestige get to the World Cup Finals? Not if Jörn Simmons has anything to do with it. It's a man who had a very impressive win against Australia's Mark Davis in the first round. Travis Banks indeed has had a very impressive 2017 as we said earlier. He could be about to get even more impressive. He could be one of the last 16 in the Pro Wrestling World Cup. Can you imagine what it would mean for the Kiwi buzzsaw Travis Banks not only to represent the prestige in the Pro Wrestling World Cup Finals but also his native New Zealand and his soul, so close. Well, Joe Coffey of course already part of that last 16 representing Scotland. Banks is an uh, ally in the prestige but there will be no allies if they end up drawn against each other should Banks qualify. The New Zealand in those finals. May the best man win. Speaking of the best, here comes another highly impressive individual, the marquee player. So, so impressive in that first round against Tom LaRuffa from, uh, from France. I thought LaRuffa was the favourite there, but Simmons, with that power, explosive offence, was able to overcome them. And if, if Banks can't find a way to ground Simmons here, then Banks could very easily suffer the same fate that LaRuffa did. Well, I can't believe the presence that Jorn Simmons has. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Banks! Banks trying to do the same thing that he did to Davis. Well, we saw that earlier on. It worked then. It isn't working against the marquee player. Oh, my God. Oh. As Banks has been sent flying here into the front row of the, of the crowd. Simmons not having any of Banks' attempt to uh, jump start this thing. Well, Banks doesn't like the people but he was in amongst them there and he's begging off Jörn Simmons now. Yeah, I'm not sure the people wanted to be as close to Banks as they ended up there either, but in any case, bottom line here is Banks is in some real trouble very early on. Simmons obviously had him scouted in that first round. Well, how fitting would it be for Jörn Simmons, the marquee player? His name could be on the marquee for his native Holland. Should he advance beyond Travis Banks, he would be the one representing his country in the Pro Wrestling World Cup Finals. Following for wrestling over in the Netherlands, of course. Simmons, what's this? Oh. Big, big chop to Travis Banks. Banks calls himself the Kiwi Buzzsaw. Little Dutch Buzzsaw action there from Jürgen Simmons. Simmons is uh, Head up to the turn off and then he leaps over the ropes. Great athleticism for a big guy. 275 pounds of Jörn Simmons. Winner of this one, by the way. The uh, final score has already been made. He's going to face speedball Mike Bailey of Canada. Another impressive man, speedball. Banks, in trouble here. Blood rushing to the head. It's delayed vertical suplex. Hesitation. He possibly can with one arm. One arm. He's dropping him. It wasn't even suplex in the end. Just dropped him. That's Jordan Simmons, a deceptively huge man. Banks is mortified. Simmons saying Simmons wants to make short sure. work of Banks. Banks fighting back. Well, Simmons had a little bit less time than Banks, so it would suit Simmons to get this done early. But Banks is going to chop him here and hit the forearm smashes. Grabbed him by the trunk, so that Simmons catches him. We saw this earlier. Same thing happened to uh, 
Rucker. What happened to Banks just there and Banks gets out at two. But Simmons clearly on top here. I think the Rucker is in the back somewhere. Still feeling that one, maybe in a hospital bed after what Jordan Simmons did to the Frenchman. Travis Banks. There, but Banks with the forearm off the pushing the official in the way. Questionable tactic, but it can't, can't doubt it was effective from Travis Banks. It pays off for Travis Banks. By any means necessary, he will do whatever it takes, anything to win. One count and kick out Banks a little bit uh, astonished there at the uh, suddenness of that kick out from Simmons. Simmons is trying to get some feeling. Blood pumping through those arms, those stiff kicks from Travis Banks. The Kiwi Buzzsaw, that's what they call Travis Banks for a reason. Banks is uh, trying to keep Simmons down here, but those uh, stopping blows, I'm not sure they're having as much effect as Banks would like. Oh! Simmons and that one certainly did have an effect. Did you see Travis Banks put his full mic behind that chop and put on Simmons' chest? And it hurt Banks. Look at this though, Banks with the, the mounted punches. Simmons trying to cover up. Banks able to rely on that aggression to get him back into the game. Who is advancing to the Pro Wrestling World Cup Finals? Is it New Zealand or is it Holland? Finally poised here in Newcastle. Again, Mike Bailey waiting for the winner of this, and he will be watching this keenly somewhere in the uh, Great White North. Another oh. one! So look at this! Simmons taking back down every time he gets up, he gets knocked down again by Jan Simmons. Banks is back in his feet though. Desperation to stop that raging bull that was Jern Simmons. Like running up a cut. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Seen this from back so many times. Loves to take that run up, loves to go back and get the ring. I think always momentum here, but oh, he's, Simmons turned it against him. Simmons turns the momentum against him. Off the turn back on the power slam. We've seen this earlier on, Dave Bradshaw. Is this enough? No. A running power slam. This time, aided by the turnbuckle. We've seen a delayed vertical suplex of running power to them. Clearly some influences of the late, great British Bulldog in Jörn Simmons' game. A similar style. Jörn Simmons, without doubt, the most physically powerful man in the rest of the world. Qualifiers here. You just have to look at him to realise that. Travis Banks' body is almost completely limp here. Well, at least I thought it was. Instead, Banks rolls him through. Banks will get the kick and gets him in the jaw. And the noise as well. Again, this time with the knee. The shining wizard from, from Banks. And Banks, the cannonball! The Kiwi cannonball. Oh, Banks is free going into the body of Jern Simmons, and it was good for a two count. Banks. Bought himself some time here, some valuable time to recuperate and think things through. He copped a new strategy to put away this big man, Jörn Simmons, who's really in some serious trouble right now. Banks is stalking his prey here. Maybe go for the slice of heaven. Slice of heaven from Banks. He caught on the shoulders. Look at the power. Look at the power of Jörn Simmons. Brings it round. Oh my, what a spine buster. Simmons, surely. And no, oh no, Banks is out again. Spinning Spain Buster nearly drove Travis Banks, his body right through the ring. Wasn't enough though for Simmons. Banks is looking to end it with the slice of heaven. And Simmons, then well scouted, got him, put him on his shoulders. Somehow able to hold him on there. And Simmons gaining confidence with every passing second here, but maybe there were too many passing seconds because he misses the elbow. Yeah. Leaping Larius from Travis Banks, the Kiwi buzzsaw. The Fisherman buzzsaw, oh. the cover from Banks. Is that enough though? No. Again, again it's two and a half. You look at the face of Travis Banks. He cannot believe that that didn't get the job done. Prestige member Banks here. 
He has to come up with something special to finish off Jorn Simmons. Travis Banks. Well used for tournament wrestling. Said earlier he's the winner of the Progress Super Superstar 16 earlier this year. He beat four men over two days in that one. He's going to have to beat two men in one night here. Both these men will. And that makes them supreme athletes. That's why they belong in the pro wrestling world. Cup, but only one can advance. We've said it time and time again throughout this entire competition. It's Banks. Yeah. Banks turn inside out. Home run. Oh, Simmons. The gut wrench. The gut wrench. Sit out power bomb. So Simmons. The cover. And oh, Banks again. Banks again gets out. You cannot give Travis Banks enough high praise. This man, one of the greatest pro wrestlers in the world, never mind just New Zealand. He wants so badly to advance to the finals. Well, it's not one of my, not one of my favorite pastimes to give any praise to Travis Banks, but I agree with you on, on this occasion. What an incredible stuff from Banks to get out of this, but also incredible stuff from Simmons. The power on display here, every bit as, as strong and as, every bit as impressive as it was against Tom LaRoffa. Well, you can bet your bottom dollar for both Simmons and Banks. Win or lose, this is not the final time we'll see them on the world stage. Close line, the first, second time done from Simmons. Banks is going to the turbo, going to the side to heaven, he gets it! Tries to heaven from Banks, cover! He's caught him, surprised him, and it's enough! Travis Banks, Travis Banks is the 15th man in the World Cup Finals! Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match and qualifying for the finals in August, Travis Banks! Well, here's something you don't hear very often in, the, in world sport. New Zealand have qualified for the World Cup. Travis Banks is going to face Speedball Mike Bailey in the last 16. What an encounter that will be what on match. August 23rd in Milton Keynes. Travis Banks, your winner. Oh, you can, again, you cannot give Travis Banks enough high praise, but the road and preparation starts now for Speedball at the World Cup Finals.